Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Zaki Mas'ud and I will be your instructor for this part 2 of the program security which is the malicious program. So what is a malicious code? A malicious code or malicious program is a code added or changed or removed from a software system in order to intentionally cause harm or subvert the intended function of the system. So what it, what it can do? The damage could be in form of modification or destruction, stolen data, unauthorized access, or the damage on the system itself. Next, we look at the reason for increase of malicious codes, a few trends that largely influence the widespread of a malicious code. First, the growing number on and connectivity of the computers, this increased connection to the target and exposed to a lot of a source of attacks. Secondly, the growing system complexity, with different protocol and platform are used to connect, so the more complex it's going to be. And finally, system are easily extensible, which is this extensibility of the system can somehow contribute to the vulnerabilities of the system. Next, uh, we go on to the taxonomy of malicious program. So malicious program can be divided into two kinds, which is the need host program and also the independent types of malicious code. First one, the need host program can be further divided into the trapdoors, logic bombs, Trojan horses, and viruses. Whereas the independent malicious program can be divided into bacteria and worms. What is the problem of the viruses? Viruses take the can be opportunistic, which it can uh, execute with a separate notion. How it can be propagated versus what as it does when executed of the payload, which can harm the target. And finally, the general infection strategy, which it can find some code lying around alter it into including the viruses. How can viruses propagate in our system? When virus runs, it looks for an opportunity to infect additional system. For example, one approach is to look for a USB attached thumb drive, alter and executable, and which can hold uh, the viruses in it. Or you can use a, it can be sending by an email with an attachment which the attachment has been altered which have the viruses copy in it. And viruses can also send out such as an email proactively using the user address book plus with an enticing subject. Let's we look into detail of these different types of malicious codes. First one is the Trojan Horse. It is a program which performs a useful function but also at the same time perform an unexpected action as well. Second is the virus. Virus is actually a code of segment which replicate by attaching copies to existing executables. It's divided into two types which is transient and residence. The transient is only executed when the program that is attached to runs, where resident is once the program executes, the viruses stays in the memory until it gets triggered again. Worm is defined as a program which replicates itself and causes execution of a new copy, whereas the bacteria replicates until it fills all the disk space or the CPU cycles. A logic bomb, malicious code, is what we consider as a malicious code that activate on an event, for example, a date. Or a trapdoor or backdoor is an undocumented entry point which written into a code for debugging that can allow unwanted user to exploit it. A spyware is a new and can be non-malicious or malicious. It can steal your email addresses and see what website you are visiting. 
Well, guys, we are at the last slide of this session. The next video will be on the subtopic of viruses and other malicious code. Hope this sharing session has given you some new knowledge on the secure system. Anyone who wants to know more about this topic, don't hesitate to contact me at the email below. See you next time. Assalamualaikum and a very good day.